Greetings. Uh, we're back for take two on this uh, knife build I'm doing. We uh, first video, I forged it all down, did a initial grinding to get this handle, and now I have to. Uh, now, now I have to finish it up, right? So what we're gonna do is first things first. We are going to, to take a file, and geez, these roosters were crazy today. But we're gonna take a file. We're gonna make this a deeper hole. So maybe it can act as a built-in guard. And then I figured out something I did really messed up. Look at the holes in that. All right, there's one there, but I didn't center them. It should be one here, one here, and then one here. So I'm going to have to punch them and drill them all over again. We can do that before we harden it, but yeah. But first things first, let's go ahead, grind it, or not, file it. I'm going to put in a choil here, a nice big thick one, and I get I get people harassing me for my choils all the time, but you know, the thing is, is it's just easier for me to sharpen the knife if there's a choil. Uh, I'm not sure why, it's just, ha it's just the way it is for me. I like it that way. So we're going to do the choil, we're going to do, we're going to file it, then I'm going to grind off the scale, Let's see, there you go, all this knife, all this uh, scale that hard stuff I'm just gonna grind it off then we'll harden it and that should be it for the day so let's get right to it all right so setting this up right, right in a nice little vise I uh, excuse the bench top I don't like to clean apparently <laughs> here we go we're gonna just take this in this room and we're just going to carve into the steel. It's going to take a while, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Should make the blade a little safer to handle. I hate the idea of having someone to use it and then have their hand run up over the blade, over the edge. The nice thing about this steel is it's so soft right now it's not taking hardly any anything to carve it out with this file. And this file is probably five years old. Yeah, not so bad, it's getting there pretty quick. It's already starting to look a little bit, a little bit nicer. Just I just want it to round up a little bit more up in here. Have more of a, so have more of a stop where my finger is going to end up being. Before anyone mentions it in a comment, no. We're not going to eat the roosters, ever. And those are my kids' pets. So, they're off the menu. Now I'm going to give this a cartoonish choil right here. What we're going to do is just going to run this right through here. Now the choils, really the only purpose for them, for me, is that when I go to sharpen the darn knife, it's a, it turns out being a lot easier to sharpen. Most people don't use choils this, this size, but I don't have any files that are smaller. And I kind of... Kind of dropping the ball a little bit, but that's okay. We'll get this troll in, and it should be okay. All 
Yeah, that's a big honking choil. Now all the choil is is just a place where it's not sharpened. So uh, when I go to sharpen it, I can stop uh, the stones right here. Should be good. Should be good to go. Sharpen the entire blade without having weird dull spots. Now, I'm not a knife maker, so. Listen to anything I have to say because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I do like to play around with stuff. That's see. carve that out with the belt grinder so we'll get the belt grinder up and running we'll get the scale off of this and then we'll get ready to harden her now there's no reason to use a new belt because I'm just gonna use it for a scale so this old belt will work just fine just gonna be more of that you don't need to see all that it's gonna probably take me another 15 minutes to uh, grind all this scale off and then we're just gonna then we'll harden it uh, so uh, I'll bring you back when the scales off and we get to harden it see you in a bit okay I didn't get quite all the scale take taken off I kind of liked it the way it was but I did get these extra holes drilled in the right spot so it should be pretty good this the handle will come up over the hole here so we got plenty of connection feels good in the hand it shouldn't if I stab into something that guard should well the fake guard should hold it in my hand pretty well but I'm not gonna stab anything because this is really just gonna be a it's gonna be a game processor I'm sure of it but we're, what we're gonna do is it, the spine is still well, the blade's still really thick it's probably an eighth of an inch down to well up here it's a little thicker but I just didn't feel like grinding anymore that's the way it goes what we're gonna do is we're gonna harden it so I'm gonna fire up the forge and to harden this I am going to dip it in water for you know quick two three four count something like that and then I'm gonna put it in the canola oil to finish it off and hopefully that will get me a little harder than what it was so Let's get right on it and see what happens. All right, well, that's it for right now. This is what we have so far. Uh, that we have a chicken laying an egg, but uh. It looks like it hardened. I put the file on it, and it was harder than it, harder than it was as a pry bar. So I think that's about all I can do. I'm actually surprised it didn't warp like crazy. It did warp a little bit, but I had a jig right handy to straighten it out. I couldn't show you that because I was in a hurry. So I'm going to go, and this will get tempered down, and uh, we will... I don't know. I'll come back. Well, once it's done being tempered, and we'll. Well, once here's what I'll do. I'll temper it, and then I'll put an edge on it, and then we'll test it out before I even try to put a handle on it. Yeah, I'll do that. That sounds like a good plan. So I'll be back once it's sharp. 
All right, there we go. That's the finished product. I was going to bring it back to see how I did the handle, but I mean, every, anyone can carve wood. It's no big deal. That's not important. See how thick that is. It goes up to a nice distal taper. There's the, there's the blade. So now, nothing left to do but to test it. All right, and to test it, I have, excuse me, scram. <laughs> Stop it. All right, anyway, to test it, I'm using an old hickory axe handle. Uh, just kind of, it just came off uh, my son's axe. A little too, it was just a little too uh, long for him. Hey, go chase the stick. Go get it. All right, anyway, we're going to scrape it and see what happens to the steel. It's a problem when you have chickens that you hand raise. They want to be with you all the time, so when you try to do videos and stuff like this, they want to scream at you. <laughs> all right. I literally know the formation of the blade. Uh, oh, holy smokes, it's buggy out. Know the formation of the blade. Let's see if it will still shave. Not quite. Uh, a little bit. So, there was the formation of the blade. It doesn't quite shave. It shaved fine before. So the hickory did dull it a little bit. I don't see any shiny spots. So it's still pretty sharp. Oh, yeah. On longer hair, it'll shave. It's kind of gross, right? Anyway, so here we go. The knife is done. It's a, it's a pry bar knife. My All right, so there we have it. Trying to get away from the roosters a little bit. And here's the knife. It still shaves. It did all right with the hickory. I'm not going to test it on other things because I don't, I'm not testing the edge geometry. I'm just testing to see whether or not the steel will hold up to normal use. Normal use to me would be carving down uh, hickory. Well, I wouldn't even use. I wouldn't even usually carve hickory. That's just the hardest wood I had around, and it was an old axe handle with a pine or maple. It'll be fine. Um, I can make a lot of feather sticks with it. It's a little thick, so I wouldn't be using it as a skinner. But for an, for your average camp chores, it probably works just fine. But I mean, but the the intent was not to test the shape and diameter or diameter the geometry is to test the steel. And as far as the steel goes, I think the steel worked all right. Um, I, I had a pretty good guess on how to harden it because I tested it first and I knew it was soft to begin with so I knew to use water uh, at least a little bit to harden it and then finish it in the oil and that made it that did make it a lot harder and it kept it semi straight and I was able to straighten it in the temper which I tempered at 350 degrees like I usually do for mystery steel and then after that if it's still too hard I will uh, temper it again at a higher temperature like 400 but 350 did the trick just fine for this um, it worked I see no problem using mystery steel especially these cheap pry bars if you wanna if you wanna go and make your own knife but you don't wanna spend a ton of money on steel because the last bar 1095 I bought that would make a knife like this, if I was just going to cut it out, was a, was right around 20, 25 bucks for just from one bar that was a little over 12 inches. But a pry bar, if you're going to forge, like I do, not that forging is any better than stock removal. I mean, you could both produce quality results, and it's all in the heat treat, right? But uh, to make this knife, it only cost me maybe five bucks in fuel. Uh, 
three dollars in the steel and three dollars in the handle and a little over 10 hours in work that's all it, that's all it cost me was it a waste of time i don't think so i think i like this knife i'll probably still use it i might sell it too i mean we'll see all this is just done freehand i might take a take a file and true up the edge a little bit but the bevels are okay I might sell it I might not probably gonna keep it but there you go my thoughts are go ahead use your mystery steel experiment the only way we're gonna learn is if we experiment and the only way we're gonna get better is if we fail this time it didn't fail but I failed so many times before it allowed me to succeed on this one anyway I'm gonna get out of here these chickens are screaming at me and the bugs are eating me so with that said, hope you guys have a great day. Go out and make something. And uh, sometimes it's better just to see for yourself rather than listen to a bunch of knuckleheads like me on the internet. <laughs> Take it easy.